Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the for each and for loops and I'm going to talk about how they are different from each other. So the first um, the first loop I'm going to talk about is the for loop and that you create an indexer uh, integer of some sort in the header or the signature and you have a condition and then an iteration. Um, that could make things a bit harder to read if you use it in opposed to the for each. So it's always good to use the for each whenever you can in in place of the for. Because just look at this for each string s and string array. It's perfect. Now there's one problem with the for each is that you cannot assigned to the iterated value, something to do with protecting data uh, within the language. Okay, so here I just tried to assign to the iterated value s. That's like saying string array i up here is equivalent. Uh, these two loops are exactly the same. It will achieve the exact same result. Another thing about for each is that it, it uses an i enumerable interface. So the um, object collection or whatever has to inherit an i enumeral interface to use. In a for each statement, you won't be able to access any uh, indexes, like a like a index i is it an index here, and this you use it as an index to iterate through this uh, the objects in this array. But if you wanted to iterate through one less of an object in the array, like i minus 1, you can't do that down at the bottom here. Or it's going to take unnecessary complexity to do the same thing. So yeah, for each statements are much easier to write and they are much easier to read, but they are lacking in flexibility.